it's not all just doom and gloom. We also have some recommendations for steps that we could take, and I'm just going to name a few of the ones related uh, to nuclear weapons. Um, first, we suggested that Donald Trump might want to refrain from provocative rhetoric regarding North Korea. You know, we're all used to Kim Jong-un and his provocative rhetoric. We know to ignore it. Um, but honestly, I'm not sure we know how North Korea interprets uh, those statements, which brings me to a second point. We need dialogue with North Korea. At a very minimum, open m military channels of communication, but we really need multiple channels of communication. I think the upcoming Winter Olympics uh, may provide at least a, a tiny crack through which um, we can um, perhaps persuade the North Koreans to sit down without preconditions. That is a very important point. The world community needs to pursue as a short-term goal the cessation of North Korea's nuclear weapons and ballistic missile tests. And that's where global efforts like the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty come into play. We can't simply just go to North Korea and say, hey, you should stop testing your nuclear weapons. Um, you know, we need to bring them into the entire regime. Um, we think the Trump administration needs to abide by the terms of the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action for Iran. It's a good deal. It reduces the threat. And a lot of other countries feel the same way. Um, we need to return.